she goes. We did a thing. Hi, I'm Doug. And I'm Kathy. And this, this is Magic, Magic May. May. Join us as we follow the moon. And we're going to be following the moon a little bit differently. Just a little. So, we apologize for the wind, but we had to shoot this outdoors. And we've got rain coming the next few days. So, bear with us. It'll get better. But we have, for probably the last year, been talking about camping differently. And we've got to start this off and say, you've all seen our Tiffin. We ordered it, we got the colors that we wanted, we got the equipment and everything that we wanted, and we love that coach. Yes, we do. It has been fantastic. It's been virtually trouble-free. It has never left us down at any point. And the things that we've had to, to repair on it are the normal things that you're going to have to repair on any rig. So, and the customer service, Bob Tiffin and the rest of the company have been second to none. Cannot give them a more glowing report. That's right. But there have been a number of times that we have both thought that the rig was probably not the best size for us. Now, Kathy did, did her turn at the wheel. She was driving last year on Interstate 10 out between uh, San Antonio and El Paso and did a great job with it. I drove it through New Mexico, too. That's right. So. But it's... It's a beast. It, driving that size of a coach is definitely an acquired taste, I yeah. have to say. <laughs> and I came to the realization that if anything were to happen and... I were to be left without her, that it was more than what I would ever want to take care of. And I also was very conscious of the fact that if something were to happen to me and she were left by herself, it was definitely going to be more than... The, I was going to need some help, that's yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah, the words hire a driver have been used several times. Yes. <laughs> so we decided that we needed to right size. That's right. We needed to be more more nimble. We needed to be smaller. We didn't want to give up everything that we had had and gotten used to in our Tiffin. So it was time to start making some decisions. It's something to simplify our travels as well, uh, especially with us going into the Great Plains where um, we're not going to have some of the resorts that we are accustomed to using mm -hmm. and uh, there's just a lot of reasons why this all is uh, making sense right now so with that said we decided we were going to start looking and thinking and we actually had seen a video on a class c rig that was on another youtube channel and we thought what we saw on TV, it was a possibility. We were at the time staying in uh, at Colorado River Thousand Trails in Columbus, Texas. And we, I searched, Google searched the inventory. There was two of these on the lot. It was a brand new model. One of them happened to be in Katy, Texas, about 40 minutes away from where we were staying. We went, we looked at it. We went back the next morning to drive it and make sure that it did what we wanted and it didn't do what we wanted. Well, we had those uh, three deal deal breakers mm -hmm. and they were broke. Yeah, so, there was three things in particular that we wanted to make sure that the coach would do for us and none of the three that coach would do. And there was a few things with the build quality and, and the the, we are kind of spoiled. Yeah, the cabinet <laughs> cabinet doors on the Tiffin probably are the best ones out there on the market. And the ones on this one were not solid. They, It just felt flimsy. So we drove to the dealership next door, which is Holiday World. And uh, they're in Katy, Texas. We worked with a fellow there named Garrett, who is He's fantastic. He really is He's great. great. And... He immediately, after we told him what we wanted, he immediately said, I got exactly what you need. Took us out, showed us this unit, and 
I was a little apprehensive walking in the door, and then um, he, it was freezing cold, and the wind was blowing, it was howling through, and uh, he drove us all around the lot looking at other things, and... I, I liked the one he showed us first. Yes. She, she didn't so much. So we looked at a couple Super C's, and we were getting back to where we were only three or four foot shorter than where we were in our class A. And we want significance. We want a significant change. So So we uh, went back and looked at it again. We went back the next day to drive it and to make a decision and we did it. Yes, we did. So we uh, spent the next few days, that was on Friday that we made the, the commitment with them. We went back at our discretion the following Thursday they wanted us to take delivery earlier but we knew that we were going to have to do some packing and rearranging and so we and a went, little more of that peeling the onion <laughs> so we went back the following Thursday and to pick the unit up probably the most thorough PDI that I've ever seen done on an RV we walked into the coach the coach was clean uh, we really didn't find any issues with it while it was sitting on the lot, other than there was an item that we wanted to have installed in it that wasn't in it, and they did have that taken care of. Um, a couple trim pieces uh, they took care of, and they were already on it when we got there. Did the walkthrough on it. They found the generator after it ran for a period of time was shutting off and was fuel starving. Tore the generator apart, put a new fuel pump. All this before we even got there to pick it up. We didn't even have to complain. Yeah, <laughs> and it was a brand new 24 model, and it, it was the most thorough PDI I have ever seen done at an RV dealership. Everything was right. And they made the, the transition seamless. We picked it up the following Thursday, which was, as we're recording this, was six days ago. And uh, we got home Thursday, exhausted, made sure everything was off the bed and kind of passed out for the night. Yep. We spent Friday and Saturday unboxing, putting things away, getting things organized. 48 hours I know. is all it took. It was amazing. Yeah. And everything that I had in the basement of the Tiffin, and it had those two big pass-through bays that I didn't have packed real tight. But everything went into the basement on this one. It fit. So that, to me, was a good sign. All of Maggie's cookies fit. And clothes. <laughs> so, we, uh, we ended up with a couple things that after we'd been in it for a couple of days, the coach door wasn't fitting up snug. Uh, one of the uh, extensions for the... Uh, airing up the tire wasn't where we could get to it easily to put our tire pressure monitor on it. So and one I, little light. And one light, one little light wasn't light. working. Yeah. So on Monday morning, I called them up and said, we're moving on Tuesday to another park. We're driving right past you. These are the three things I've got. They're all simple. They're all basic. Could you fit us in as we drive by? He says, be here at 1030 and we'll get you in and out in between an hour and an hour and a half. At 11.30, we were on the road leaving. So They are so amazing. We're not affiliated yeah. with this dealership, but it's Holiday World in Katy, Texas. They have treated us extremely well through this. Uh, I'm, I'm so impressed with it, more so than we've bought them from a couple of big names out there. One, I would never step foot back in again, and yeah. you probably yeah. all know who that is. But another one that's a real big name that's also out here on YouTube that the salesman never even spoke to us when we went in to pick up our tiffin. That didn't settle well with me. But be that as it may. We are over the moon. We are. <laughs> Follow the moon is over the moon. And we are going to be bringing you a full tour very shortly. But until then, we'll give you a little sneak peek of the outside. That's right. <laughs> it's a 29 foot class C and you won't believe what this has inside. It's amazing. And we're going to be bringing you within the next uh, two or three videos. So within the next week or 10 days, 
we're going to be bringing you a full inside tour. We've got everything moved in and packed in. We've got the pictures to hang on the wall and a few odds and ends like that. We want it to look right for you. So we'll be giving you the full inside tour here in the next couple of videos. And you can see how this is going to change our full-time RV life. And yes, we are definitely still full-time on the road. Yes, we are. So if you've enjoyed the video today, leave us a thumbs up. We appreciate it. If you haven't already subscribed, hit the little button at the end of the video and uh, be sure to uh, ring the notification bell so you'll know when all of our videos come out. And thank you for continuing to follow us as we follow the moon.